summer. It's clothed the earth in a cloak from the loom of the sun and a mantle too of the sky's soft blue and a belt where the rivers run. And now for a kiss of the wind and a touch of the air's soft hands and the rest of strife from the heat of life and the freedom of lakes and lands. You know, I envy the farmer's boy who sings as he follows the plow while the shining green of the long blades lean to the breezes that cool his brow. He sings to the dewy morning with no thought of another's ear. But the song he sings is a chant for kings and the whole wide world to hear. He sings of the joys of life, the pleasures of work and rest from an overfull heart without aim or art. It's the song of the merriest. And those who toil in the town and those who moil in the mart hear the artless song and their faith made strong and shall renew their joy of heart. Mm. Poor were the worth of the world if never a song were heard, if the sting of grief had no relief, if never a heart were stirred. So as long as streams run down, and as long as robins trill, let us taunt the old care with a merry air and sing in the face of ill. <laughs> <laughs>